Good morning, good morning everyone. Today guys, I went to the food bank again. And look at all this food. So we're going to start over here. I have pork sausage made fresh, never frozen, but it's ice. <laughs> I have chicken breast stripes strips boneless boneless skinless so i have two i have one dozen eggs and i have cabbage and look at all my bell pepper fresh bell pepper green yellow orange and red I like the color and I have here it's pinto beans wow I love this one and I have here mandarin so now I know it's mandarin so mandarin shows in the front it's wrinkled like this and I have this big mushrooms portabilia portabilla mushrooms I have uh, chopped romaine cheese garlic it's mixed veggies with protein 9 grams protein protein Pair serving chicken race without antibiotics. Oh, good. So that's mixed veggies there. I have my beautiful cake. Look at that. You're gonna like to eat this. Oh, I love the style. So beautiful. And I have one more tangerine, tangerine crunch chop kit. I don't know which the where's the tangerine. I don't know. With tangerine vinaigrette. Ah, that's why. Right. All right. So I have four onions, big onions. I have grapes again, mixed green and red. And look at the strawberry. It's perfect for my coated chocolate. We're gonna try that later. And I have here, um, what is this? Apple, lemon. I have mandarin mix there. Potato, banana, pear. And on this side, I don't know what is this called. It's frozen. It's from Kirk Kirkland. It's called Southwest White Bean Chicken Chili. Oh, is this spicy? Cooking instruction pour soup into saucepan. Place the pan on medium heat until the soup reaches 165 Fahrenheit degrees. Oh, F degrees. Very night. Alternate microwave instructions. Place soup in a microwave safe container. Cover with paper towel and heat until temperature reaches 165 F degrees. Mm. Okay. So that means this one we still need to heat this. Well, it's a soup but it's ice. So every time we they give us meat, you know, there's ice. I mean, frozen. It's frozen. Food like this is frozen. So I have one big bag of chicken leg quarters. So it's 10 pounds. This one is ice too. I love this one. And we have milk. 
this one is silk almond 50% more calcium this one is vitamin D milk and this one is fat free milk good source of protein vitamins A and D good so this one I have here a uh, hot pico de gallo there you go but you know I don't know if it's still good because it says 11 13 20 best if used by 11 13 20 but it's cold they put it in the freezer and I have mixed fruits here I think it's I don't know if this is orange or mandarin again but I think it's orange green grapes and strawberry it's all fresh and I have this Q layer dessert this one I have two cups I have four um, canned goods, pinto beans, and whole berry, cranberry sauce. And I have six pieces of tomato ketchup, Heinz tomato ketchup. And I have the Heinz yellow mustard, 100% natural. So I don't see a date here. So I'm not sure when is the expiration date. I'm still looking. Maybe I can see it later. Because I don't want to use this if there is no date. Expiration date. That's very important if we have food. Not for resale. I think this one is in the box already. And there's an expiration date in there. So that's why it's not showing here because this one they just put it in separate bags together with the canned goods. So I have one sack of rice. Maybe this one is two cups. It's yellow rice. But I'm thankful I have rice. They include the rice. I have Celia's Quick Oat. This is 18 ounces. So, I like it. I can save this because it's going to be expired. Best by October 28, 2022. Product of USA. So, I love that one so I can save it instead of, you know, buying and buying. So, I have 100% Durham, Durham, Durham wet wheat. It's a spaghetti number eight. Oh, they have sizes. This one is Allegra spaghetti noodles. And I have five of this Durham with uh, macaroni products. And this one is good. It's been expired. 2-17-2023 so I can still save this one so I actually I have a lot of stacks of uh, spaghetti uh, spaghetti noodles already and macaroni so you know we're just gonna check the date and which one is closer to the expiry date that's a uh, one that we're gonna use before it will expire I don't wanna throw that in the trash and i have one pack of package of water i love it i hope next time they're gonna give me like 10 package yeah really and i have this hot dog bands one two three and four mm -hmm. But you know, in one pack, there is like one, eight, 16 pieces in one pack. So in one package, there is two bags inside. 
so i don't know how can i eat this i'm on diet and still we have a lot of breads so today guys you know i'm so blessed i have these fruits and vegetables all right guys i'm so happy i have fruits and my veggies is only this i can make a uh, tinola plus my chicken and this one is so still fresh very fresh and my some of my veggies are romaine in the bag and i love that pineapple i forgot to say i have pineapple and this oh my goodness i have this tortillas and it's it's gonna expire december 20 to 2020 i have one bag and the pineapple it's small pineapple i think it's so sweet we're gonna try that later it's still cold see and we can make our smoothie because we have grapes strawberries um apple and pear and oh my gosh i forgot i have this mango you know yesterday i was thinking eating mango i will buy mango but i have fresh mango look at that oh my gosh why did i miss this spot over here and still i have this mozzarella tomato salad from trader joe's so this one with the cheese with balsamic vinaigrette oh, i'm gonna try all of that later but i want this and my pineapple i like that one and it's good because we have this chicken we can make a fried chicken adobo again and of course that one is good too we can save that for next year all right mga neighbor thank you thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to click click the bell button so we you can you're gonna get notified on my next food bank videos all right i will see you later be safe and god bless everyone bye